Today in our science class we will learn about chapter 3 animals birds so student in this chapter we will learn about birds the different features of birds different types of uh, beaks and different types of feet and claws of birds we will learn about different types of feather and we will also learn about how do bird fly how do they make their nest and also lastly we will learn about how to take care of animals so student birds are the feathered animals that live on trees so as you can see here birds are the feathered animals the body of the birds are covered with feathers we see different types of bird around our home and on the trees they fly in the sky birds have different body types and features so we will try to understand some of the features and body types of the bird so first topic is beaks of bird birds are toothless animal they have beaks to eat their food so students likewise we have our teeth to eat our food to bite our food birds do not have this kind of teeth they have beaks to eat their food and to bite their food so first type of beak we'll see here is a strong sharp and hooked beak so birds like eagle and vulture as you can see in the picture here they have very strong and sharp and hooked beak the shape of the beak as you can see is hooked so these birds have a very strong beak so that they can tear the flesh of other animals and eat the flesh of other animals next we have is a strong short and hard beak so birds like pigeon and sparrow has also strong beak but it is short so that they can crack the grains and seed and eat their foods so as you can see students sometime in your home also pigeons come and we give them grains so this kind of beaks help them to crack the grains and eat their food then next we have is curved beak so birds like parrot and parakeet have curved shaped beak so this kind of beak helps them to eat nuts and other hard fruits like walnut so students this kind of curved beaks help these birds to crack very hard fruits like walnuts and it also helps them to climb trees with the help of the curved beak they can climb the trees next we have is strong pointed chisel shaped beak so the bird like woodpecker have a strong and pointed like needle and chisel shaped beak so this kind of beak helps this woodpecker to make hole into the hard tree trunks and pull out insect to eat so with the help of the pointed beak it can make holes in the tree trunks and also it can eat insect from the tree trunks next type of beak is long and pointed beaks so birds like hummingbird and sunbird have very long and pointed beaks so this kind of beaks helps them to suck the nectar from flowers the peers open the flowers to suck nectar from them so the nectar of the flowers are very deep inside to suck it to take that nectar these birds need a long beak so that's why hummingbird and sunbird have very long beaks next we have is a broad and flat beak so birds like duck and goose have broad and flat beak and they have little holes at the side of the beak so as you can see here students they have flat and broad beak and little holes at the side of the beak so this flat and broad beak helps these birds to take the muddy water and with the muddy waters all the insect and worms come inside the beak but with the help of the holes the little holes at the side of the beak 
the muddy water comes out but the insect worms and some water plants they remain inside the beak so like this this kind of birds eat their food next we have is broad and short beak so birds like shallow bird has very broad and short beak and these birds have a sticky thing inside the beak so what they do children these birds they open their mouth and the flies and some kind of insect insect stuck inside the beak and they just shallow up inside the mouth a bird spoon bill has a spoon shaped beak it is used to collect tadpoles and other small water animals so this is also one kind of bird known as spoon bill because the beak of this bird is like spoon and it collects the small water animals and tadpoles next we have student is feet and claws so next type of feature is the feet and the claws so feet and claws helps the bird to walk hop run hold on to the branches protect themselves from their enemies and catch their food so this feet and claws have different type of function it helps the bird to walk it helps the bird to run hold on the branches and also protect from the enemies and also to catch the other animals and to catch their food big under feet and claws are flesh eating birds so student birds like eagle and vulture have very sharp claws known as talons they use this claws to tear the flesh or to catch live prey like rat toads and small birds so as you can see here students they have a very sharp claws and with the help of this claws they tear the flesh of other animals and also catch the small prey next we have is perching birds birds like crow sparrow myna and finches have three front toes and one toe at the back so see student here they have this kind of claws three toes are in front and one toe is at the back so this helps them to grip and hold in the branches and also in the wires so as you noticed around your home that when crows comes they usually sit on the electrical wires or in the branches so this kind of clauses help them to grip and hold in the branches next we have scratching bird so birds like hen and rooster they have also very sharp claws and they are known as scratching bird because when you notice a hen if you have seen around your home any hen or any rooster you will find that they always scratch the ground so with the help of this sharp claws they scratch the ground and they take out the buried insects and worms and seeds for their food next we have is climbing bird so birds like woodpecker and parakeet and also parrot are climbing bird so this kind of birds known as climbing bird they have two front toes and two back toes so as you can see here two toes are in front and two toes are at back so this help them to grip in the tree trunks and they can climb up the trees next we have student is swimming bird so birds like duck and goose they have very flat and broad feet so as you can see water birds such as dog and swan have webbed feet that help them to swim in the water so they have very flat and broad kind of feet they have webbed feet so it is connected you can see the claws are connected with a webbed structure so this helps them to swim in the water 
next we have is wading birds so birds like heron and the stork they have very long legs and the claws they have are very long so that these birds can wade through muddy water without getting drenched in water so with the help of this kind of claws this kind of long claws and feet they can cross through the muddy water without getting drenched